Hello, I'm Chris Williams from Read Comics, They're Bad For You, the name of my YouTube channel. Or, if you're watching this on BitChute, the name of my BitChute channel is Comic Freak. Today, we're going to be talking about the future of Star Wars will be reportedly be very female. This is the cute way, or at least in my opinion, the obnoxious way the article is going to tell you that when Disney reboots Darth Revan, they're going to turn him into a woman. That's right, they're taking Revan, one of the best characters in Star Wars lore, and then rebooting him for the agenda-driven Me Too politics of today. So let's get it over with and read this article. Whatever your opinions on the quality of Disney's sequel trilogy, it's undeniable that they've succeeded in their goal of making Star Wars more attractive to women. That's only in your mind. Whoever wrote this, that only exists in your mind. Having Daisy Ridley's Rey as the focus was a big help, as were strong characters like Carrie Fisher's General Leia, Kelly Marie Trans's Rose Tico, and Felicity Jones' Jin Iso. They bring a nice bit of balance to it. What had previously been a series focused on the trials and tribulations of men, and now it seems that Lucasfilm is determined to bring the same balance to the other side of the camera. We're hearing from our sources, the same ones who told us about the Green Lantern show before it was announced, and about Aaron McGregor's Obi-Wan return back in May, that the studio is eager for both Kevin Feige's project and the Knights of the Old Republic trilogy to have female leads and directors. We don't know much about the former, but this news would certainly fit with rumors that the Marvel Studios had on so once Brie Larson for the lead. Additionally, if the Knights of the Old Republic trilogy does indeed retell the story of Darth Revan and Darth Malak, it would be extremely easy for them to make Revan a woman. That's because in the Bioware RPG in which the character debuted, players could choose Revan's gender and ethnicity. The question of whether the canonical Revan is male or female has never been settled, but it's sounding like Disney are going with the latter. It'll also be interesting to see which directors are tapped for the projects. Lucasfilm's sister studio, Marvel Studios, has recruited a number of female filmmakers for upcoming projects of late, including Kate Shortland for Black Widow, Jilo Zoe for The Eternals. My thinking is that Bob Iger and Kathleen Kennedy will be keeping a close eye on how those two do with the large cast and epic action of The Eternals, perhaps making Zoe a good candidate for Star Wars. Beyond that, there have been persistent rumors linking Wonder Woman's Patty Jenkins to the Knights of the Old Republic trilogy, but for now, those remain unconfirmed. Clearly, though, the future of Star Wars is going to be very female-heavy, and that can only be a good thing. No, it's not. That's going to be a horrible thing, because you're only hiring over if someone's plumbing is different. As is common with these articles, the SJW politics just comes shining through. This article oozes with the arrogance of the NPC, with them thinking that just because someone is female or a minority that makes anything they make worthy of a frickin' Oscar. But that's a lie. They only say that because they want to look good on Twitter or on Facebook or with their so-called Instagram friends just so they can say they're more holier than thou to anyone whose opinion is different from them. And this is why movies are suffering so much. If it's not a, well, reboot, it's a agenda-driven piece of dreck that makes people want to wretch. I mean, take a look at Captain Marvel or Ghostbusters 2016, which was a complete and utter pile of bat guano. And that's all that movie amounted to in the end. I mean, Disney Star Wars is already lost, but now they want to take Darth Revan, one of the greatest characters in Star Wars lore, and put him through the same ringer. It won't even be the same Darth Revan from Knights of the Old Republic. That you could play as a female character. No, what you will get is a woke feminist dream girl who has nothing to do with femininity and looks like something that someone basically put through a Frankenstein experiment. And if you saw Terminator Dark Fate, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Namely, the Feminator. Now... If you like this video, subscribe. Make sure you're still subscribed because YouTube is going around unsubscribing people, so make sure you're still subscribed. If you're watching my videos but you have not subscribed, please subscribe to me. 
subscribe to my YouTube channel, read comics, they're bad for you. Then go over to BitChute and subscribe to my BitChute channel, Comic Freak. And if you could, could you please share this video, share it on Twitter and share it on Facebook, share it anywhere you think it would do the most good because YouTube is not going around promoting their YouTube creators anymore and it would really help me if you could please share this video. Now listen closely because it's that time of the day again, it's plug-in time. Keep checking back in future videos for more information on my own upcoming independent comic book, Scum Dogs. I'm Chris Williams, and I'll be back again tomorrow with another video or review.